Water electrolyzers for testing your drinking water quality are kind of a scam, especially if they're made with an iron electrode. But first, what is electrolysis? What is a water electrolyzer? Electrolysis is the process of breaking apart something using electricity. In this case, a water electrolyzer is something that breaks apart water molecules using electricity. You can split it into just the atoms, you can split it into the molecules, but that's what water electrolyzing is. Now these devices, they're kind of a scam if you use them to test your water because one of the electrodes on these devices is made of iron. And if you take a piece of iron and you put it in water with another electrode and you pass a current through this to make a circuit, the nature of the chemical reaction is such that it's going to consume the iron and create iron ions in the water that will go on to react with whatever other things might be in the, in the water, including the minerals that are probably supposed to be there and make it look extra scuzzy and disgusting. While yes, you could maybe use this to test water for something, it's definitely not something you're gonna use to test your water for its drinking quality. This is gonna happen in any kind of water that you use a device like this in, simply because the water will have dissolved minerals in it. Now, if you use distilled water, which doesn't have anything dissolved in it, that can't carry a current. So since that can't carry a current, this whole reaction doesn't happen. But any other kind of water, yeah, it has dissolved minerals in it. it. It will conduct electricity. And once the electricity starts passing through that circuit with an iron electrode, the iron is just, it's essentially just rusting into the water. It's ba not exactly, but effectively, it's just rusting into the water. So it just looks like it's gross. Really what you're doing is just destroying the electrode that the device came with. If you want to test your drinking water, there are chemical-based testing products that you can buy. If you're not deeply concerned, these are likely sufficient. However, I would recommend that you reach out to a local government agency or environmental agency, or even a privately owned company that offers these kinds of water testing services. But definitely, definitely not a water electrolyzer that's 20 bucks off Amazon. Unless you're trying to make hydrogen and oxygen gas, that's what you want to do. You know, I approve. But until next time, it's Kim Thug.